happy monday welcome to another week i know i look tired that is because i am um last week was a busy week i went back to work um in both my jobs um so yeah it was it was busy and it was probably more exhausting than i thought it might be um so yeah i'm having a very chilled out monday i've just gone through all my emails because there was way too many um and now i am gonna sort out last week's vlog and then i've had photos arrive um so i'm gonna carry on with some scrapbooking that i started last week so um it's all been a very nice easy monday morning i'll catch up with you a bit later i had a lovely chat with my uni lot tonight but uh, it's not that late, but I'm very, very tired. I have been all day. I had quite a busy, productive day, um, considering I, I have been in my pyjamas apart from the Zoom call. Um, I did a bit of scrapbooking. I sorted my vlog out, sorted my SD card out on my camera and like backed loads of stuff up and did something else, had some dinner. <laughs> um, so it's been quite a busy one. So I'm going to get an early night because I've got work tomorrow. I will see you good afternoon everyone um today is the anniversary of a friend of mine who passed away it's the first one um so that was affecting me a little bit this morning which is why i haven't really spoken to you today um but i, I went to work um well worked from home uh, and it was all fine and um, i've had a shower and put some makeup on ready for date night tonight um which will be really nice hopefully we're just gonna go for a little walk um yeah it definitely is a bit of a weird one today hello hello um happy wednesday yesterday i had a really nice evening um what i did first i had some rocks um in my room so i decided what i was going to do i was going to color one in um in in memory of my friend stevie and um i went and put it by a tree when we went out for our walk um just to kind of remember her and also she could bring a smile to literally anyone's faces so i just put a little message on the back so if anyone finds it that um that they share a smile um for stevie so that was really really nice and um went on my little uh, date date walk um which was lovely so i came home i got some sleep um and then today what have i really been doing today i've had a fairly restful day i can't really remember what i've done with my morning oh i do remember one thing that i uh, i did i uh, ordered a couple of birthday presents for someone and stupidly i have sent them to my old uni address <laughs> So I messaged the sellers uh, frantically, like, please change the address. Uh, but I still haven't heard back from them. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't really want to drive to Norwich and beg for my stuff. But we will see what happens on that. I'll let you know. Um, and then I've just had my final um, psychology appointment from pain management. Um, I've been working with my therapist for quite a while now um since the beginning of the year and it's kind of been on and off uh with covid and everything and then we went back to having kind of regular regular sessions um and i think with her and my occupational therapist i've come a really long way in the past couple of months i mean during lockdown I mean, this whole last year has been a huge roller coaster for me with finishing uni and trying to find a job and not being able to find one and then finding two and then kind of not being able to find my right place um, and keep my energy in the right place with that. And then COVID and a breakup and people passing away and it's been a hell of a year. And... I've actually been really proud of myself the past couple of months for how I've managed this and it's only with the kind of work that they've been doing that I think that I've managed to do it and do it well. I think touch wood on the whole my anxiety has been a lot better and 
I think I've been much kinder to myself and allowed myself more. And I think COVID and this whole situation has taken the pressure off a bit. Um, I haven't been working as much and I've been allowed to focus on myself and put the right things in place for going back to work and finding a routine again. Um, and God, it hasn't been easy. But I know that I've managed things so much better than I would have done if this had been six months ago. Or even, you know, the start of this whole pandemic. Um, you know, like... Things like my ex getting engaged a couple of weeks ago could have absolutely thrown me for six but it didn't I I allowed myself to feel the things that I needed to feel at that time and have moved on from it and I'm okay with that and I think that shows just how far I've come because I don't think I would have been like this I, it's happened to me before and I know I didn't behave like that or think like that it was so focused on my self-worth and my self-worth has grown exponentially uh, in the last few months but anyway I'll stop chatting at you <laughs> and get on with this voiceover audition that I've got to um, I'll see you a bit later I swear I did change out my pyjamas at some point today. It may have been only for like an hour and a half, but I did it. <laughs> um, the voiceover audition I did today was really, really fun. And then we did virtual guides this evening. I wrote um, some quiz rounds for it and we did that on Kahoot. So that was, that was quite fun. I think the girls enjoyed themselves and I'm now settling down in bed with some popcorn and some strawberries to watch um, American Tale, uh, which I've never even heard of before um, with a friend of mine. They're the one that's recommended it. Um, so we're just going to have a little text along movie night and I will see you tomorrow. Morning guys, happy Thursday. I am all ready to work from home today, but my laptop is making a really weird noise. It was doing it yesterday and I thought I was just dreaming it, but I'm not because I've opened it up and it sounds like a ticking clock. I doubt you can hear it. But that's gonna really get on my nerves. Oh well. Fatigue has got me good um, this morning. I did about an hour's work and then I've just felt really rubbish. Um, so <gasps> I've just been in bed for a bit, had some lunch, um, some kind of non-lunch lunch so that probably hasn't helped but I'm just trying to save all the energy that I do have for my meeting um, and then I'll catch up with the rest of my hours later this afternoon if I'm feeling a bit better or tomorrow. Um, I'm just feeling very very fatigued today for no particularly good reason so i got through my meeting all right but it was definitely a long one um and then i had to come back to bed and do some more work because the meeting brought up loads and loads of stuff um so when i was thinking that i was probably going to end up doing less hours than i needed to and have to do some work tomorrow i've probably ended up doing more than more than my hours this week but i'm shattered already um but it feels good to have made some progress and got stuff done but i've also got support group tonight and my parents have gone away again so i've got to do stuff for myself and the thought of making dinner right now <laughs> is uh is not one don't get me wrong i've got something out of the freezer but even putting some rice on because i haven't got enough microwave packs is is a lot um I'm tired, but I don't think I'm tired in the way that I'd actually sleep. Um, so I'm just going to put some friends on and um, rest. Luckily, I got some 
a little bit of energy back um, this evening after having dinner. So I was able to do support group. Um, if you ever want to come along, support group is now on a Thursday night rather than a Wednesday because I'm back to guides. Um, but it was lovely to, to catch up with everyone. We had a really good turnout tonight and some new faces and it was really, really lovely. Um, so yes, I am hopefully going to get a bit of an early night tonight. I can't believe it's Thursday night already and tomorrow's Friday and it's nearly the end of the week. I feel like these weeks just keep going quicker and quicker which hopefully is a good thing I'm not sure um but yeah I'm looking forward to Legoland at the end of the week if a little bit nervous but I'm sure it'll be very nice um tomorrow I have a lovely day planned I've got to do a little bit of work in the morning but then I'm gonna have a really chilled out um afternoon um before another little date evening uh, and hopefully we're gonna do outdoor cinema again um at their house so that'll be really nice i will see you tomorrow morning guys um i had a rough night and it feels a little bit like i've been hit by a bus um but yeah i'm awake <laughs> uh, it's really really warm this morning so i have my windows open all night so my hay fever is also like oh um but i've taken my meds so hopefully all that will calm down in the next uh 20 minutes or so um but yes what i wanted to talk to you about was um was stuff being rescheduled um because i had tickets for frozen the musical booked um for february and that has now been moved till the 15th of july next year <laughs> um so almost a whole year till i'll get to see it now but hopefully that means that i will actually get to see it um, I'm just waiting for McFly for October to be rescheduled again because I just can't see that happening. Um, but I also wanted to say about, um, well, it's something that a friend of mine booked um, that is for March. So to be honest, I don't think it will actually end up going ahead anyway. But it was so lovely because they just booked it um and wanted me to go with them but it was also a gut punch because they just booked it kind of without thinking and like didn't realize about accessible seats or just the fact that i couldn't you know stand for that long um and it's so tricky like it's so okay like that kind of thing is gonna happen and I think I'm so used to being the one who books things for that very reason. It was nice that um, someone else has done that. But, like, I don't think people sometimes realise how much work goes into booking these kind of things. And how much sometimes arguing and proving you have to do. Which I completely understand because they don't want people abusing the system. But is equally annoying um so yeah but i think anything like that gigs or shows is going to be very tricky for a little while and we will see if and when these things actually go ahead at the moment i'm just glad the things that i've booked haven't been cancelled touch wood just yet i'm still waiting on mcfly they're just being rescheduled so that is good but i guess we never kind of thought that things might still be being rescheduled this this far in advance already um anyway i'm gonna get up and uh feel a bit more human hopefully Hey guys, um, as you saw I had a really lovely evening um, after a bit of a busy day in the end, um, just sorting things, but I baked, got on and baked some dessert to take round and completely left it at the door which was rather silly, but we had an Indian and then um, had a bit of a hot tub session and then did an outdoor film and I watched E.T. for the first time ever, um, but I was falling asleep towards the end in all honesty, um, it is nearly 1am, 
so I'm back home and I'm gonna get some sleep it is very very hot I'm hoping for a slightly cooler day tomorrow um, and a very exciting delivery arrived today so I'll show you that later well tomorrow as well I will see you then good night hey guys happy Saturday um, it is a lovely lovely day it is quite warm um, my shoulder is like subluxing like it's it's just in and out so it's sore um so this is going to be shorter than i wanted to be but i might do a longer version uh tomorrow but i really just couldn't wait to show you so this is not only the exciting delivery that i spoke about yesterday but it's an exciting delivery from neo walks and uh if you know what that means then get excited um neo walks if you don't know is the people that make uh, my beautiful uh, bubble walking stick uh, and they make all sorts of amazing colorful walking sticks but what's even more exciting about this particular one is that it is an absolute world's first you are not going to find another stick like this at all in the world at the moment um i think the official name is tutti frutti um, for the stick like my bubbly one is called champagne fizz but of course I give all of my uh, mobility aids their own personal names so this is Rapunzel okay so you think it's just just purple and bubbly that's really cute oh so she is multicolored um, I've got some more bits in the car because I can have her all different colours. I don't think I can do this with one hand. Maybe I can. Basically, they... No, I can't do it with one hand. Basically, it all twists apart. So I can chop and change and have it mix and match. Um, and it's really, really exciting. And I will show you a bit more with all the different colours and things uh, tomorrow when I get a chance. But I just couldn't wait to show you. So uh, welcome to the family, puns. We uh, love you already. Hey guys, um, I'm actually not feeling too well at all. I've got an awful headache and I'm really quite tired um, and my shoulder's been playing up all day so it's very sore in the whole neck region. I'm hoping that a shower might help that but I'm really, really tired. Um, I was out shopping for kind of a little bit longer than I planned um, but it was fine. But still, the amount of people not wearing face masks in town today was ridiculous. Like... I don't think these people realise that by next week they're going to have to or they won't get into shops. Like, you'd just think more people would have done it this weekend because, anyway, madness. Um, but, yeah, uh, then I came back and had my little quiz chat with um, with my friends, as per usual, on a Saturday afternoon. And I've just got dinner going. Um, and then, yeah, I'll have a shower and get an early night because I have to be up early tomorrow because i'm going to legoland uh, i'm quite excited a little bit nervous because uh, it's the first like big proper thing i've done since um since everything started so hopefully it will be a really nice day uh, i will see you then morning guys happy sunday it's a strange kind of day today it's feeling very hot and humid but it's also raining and windy and just generally a bit naff um, so that's a bit of a shame for our day at Legoland today, but hopefully it'll still be nice and we can have a lovely day. I'll see you there. Hey guys, we made it. Um, parking was really, really easy. Um, nice disabled car park and then coming in was really nice and simple. They just um, checked your bags and scanned your temperature and uh, we were all good. So we're here and uh, I'm just going to find where the ride access pass hub is. Go there and then we can start having some fun. That's 
far we've managed to do one ride. It's been a bit of a different experience to usual because obviously they're having to social distance all the rides so it's taking much longer for people to get on and off. Um, but they've got quite a good little ride access system, it's all on my phone. Um, unfortunately a lot of the queues are getting too big so they're closing the queues um, and then you on the app it will say it's already and then it won't be by the time you get there. Um, so that's a shame. So we're just waiting to see if the queue opens before we decide to go on something else. Make a wish. <laughs> what did you wish for? Uh, too long. <laughs> You're not meant to tell your wishes, otherwise they don't come true. <laughs> James Bond turn. I <laughs> know oh, you're gonna crash into the cruise ship. <laughs> waiting for the monorail about access they made me walk up the stairs to then tell me that it's closed due to the weather conditions as you can see the weather is fine so something is a little bit hinky here um, but interesting good morning guys it is Monday <laughs> Sorry that it ended quite abruptly at Legoland, but it felt a little bit like that um, with what happened on the last ride. Um, but we came home, I made some dinner, and we watched Legally Blonde, which is one of my all-time favourite films. Um, and then we just completely whacked out, um, so I didn't get a chance to film anything yesterday, and I thought it would be better to film something when I was feeling slightly more um, human. Um, but anyway, yeah, that last ride was really disappointing. It was really, really strange. Um, it was the Sky Rider, and it was on your way out, and I just really wanted to have that really lovely view of the whole park. And we went up the Reserve and Ride entrance, which is like the Access Pass scheme, but it wasn't on the app, and I thought, oh, that's really weird, but we went up anyway. So we got to the top, 
and the woman was like yeah this is the the wheelchair user ex, uh, entrance i was like okay but i've got a, i've got a walker i'm disabled like okay um and she's like oh no it's not on the app because we can't do social distancing but it's like i'm already at the top and i haven't passed anyone so why can't we just go on um we've waited our time from the last ride um and she was like no sorry you'll have to go and wait in the in the queue um and you know i i really wanted to go on this ride so we thought oh okay we'll queue it doesn't look too bad um so i couldn't take my walker into the queue line and that is my main problem with queuing because i can't sit down so we were in the queue and um it's taking a really long time like it's moving quite quickly at first and then it's really taking a really long time to move so i ended up sitting on the floor as you saw um and yeah we we sat there for quite a while and then we finally started moving i was like oh great this will be this will be good um so we get to the top of the stairs and the woman's like oh no it's um we're closed due to weather conditions as you saw weather conditions were absolutely fine i don't know what the real reason was but that was definitely an excuse and my problem i know obviously i'm the one with a disability but they could have just sent one person down and exited the queue line from a little gate they had downstairs rather than making everyone go up the stairs and walk back down the ramp like obviously that was especially hard for me but it's not going to be like the best for anyone else um so yeah that put a little bit of a dampener on the end of the day but we did have a really lovely day it was it wasn't an easy day out um a lot of the stuff like one of my favorite rides was closed the dragon and i don't know whether that was because of of covid or um just because it was closed that day and we were just unlucky um because the underwater sea adventure one was just closed and i'm assuming that's just because they can't social distance because it's like submarines and you can't just have two people for example going on at a time but that was the main problem that everything was taking longer because of social distancing and to be fair to them they did it really really well on the rides i couldn't fault them in that but round the park people were just doing whatever the hell they wanted uh, and some rides you had to wear masks and some you didn't but it seemed a bit nonsensical which ones you did and which ones you didn't overall access wise i was a little bit disappointed the first ride we went on was this new ride which was called mia's horse riding something you might know that if you have kids i don't um and we got there and got to the access entrance and they're like the lift's closed or the lift's broken sorry so we went and put my walker in a safe spot because there was nowhere to leave it and came back and then we're waiting for ages which kind of defeated the purpose of moving my walker <laughs> um but anyway so the, yes we had to go upstairs because the lift was broken obviously that's fine for me but for some people that would have meant that they couldn't go on the ride and it was fine for me because it was the first ride of the day but later on it just started getting more and more stairsy i think the one that i was most disappointed about was lego ninjago because it's a new ride it's it was being built when i went there three years ago so there's no reason that that shouldn't be accessible and it was a lot of stairs and there was absolutely no reason why they couldn't have had a lift um and there was no like warning on the the ride and reserve entrance to say that would be the case and then also when we got on the ride i found the ride slightly disappointing and my arms are actually really really sore from doing it today so it was kind of like a laser shooty game but without the gun and you had to use your arms and do this with both arms and my friend's arms were hurting at the end of it let alone mine it was insane um so i don't think i'd go on that ride again um but overall we did have a lovely day. Fairytale Brook is my absolute favourite little ride ever. Um, that might be really sad, but I love it. And then my other part, uh, favourite part of Legoland is definitely Miniland, seeing all the, the cities built out of Lego. And they had some lovely little additions that weren't there before um, or were done specially uh, with a thank you NHS sign. And also they had Tom Moore getting his knighthood outside um, Windsor Castle, which was just absolutely beautiful. 
So the ride and reserve system was really quite simple and it was all on your phone. When I've been before, we've had like paper cards and that's been a bit annoying. So it was nice to just scan a QR code when you got to the ride and then it started counting down to your next ride. And it also started counting down when you were on the ride. So that kind of cut five minutes off um, before you, you even started. And it was really helpful in terms of managing what rides you were going to do, when you were going to have a rest, uh, when you were going to have lunch and that kind of thing. So it was a really helpful system and I've not, I've not used something like that before. So that was really good. But overall, it just felt a little bit stressful. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but we did have a really fun day. I love the spinning spiders. Uh, I love Fairytale Brook. I love Miniland. And uh, we went in the shop and uh, I was treated to a little Disney Moana set and then I bought myself a little mini Elsa Frozen set and I couldn't walk away without a little Anna uh, for my keys so I did get some Lego at Legoland um, overall we had a nice day but I wouldn't recommend it especially at the moment in terms of access and ease of use um, generally but uh, we're going to Thorpe Park in a couple of weeks so it'll be interesting to see what that's like because I have been there more recently um, anyway <laughs> it's Monday I'll stop talking I've been talking for ages I really hope you've enjoyed this week I have had a fun one hope you're keeping safe and well if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already I'd love it if you'd hit subscribe I will see you next week for another video